All right, come on. What is the important for us to speak about today? This is not a sports podcast. What do y'all want to talk about? Well, we go about? back to Atlanta. I was going to ask Ish about how he feels about the uh, Atlanta cracking down on the Airbnb thing. And I was going to ask about floaties, but i wait. Huh? Floaties? Yeah. Okay. What we'll the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Floaties? I didn't know what a floaty is. Oh, like when you eat, eat too like, much meat? No, when you're no, in the like, pool and you like need the a little floaty. Right, right. Like, yeah. oh, like you go to a chick house and y'all chilling and you go in the bathroom and it's like a floaty. Like, do you stay or do you like... <laughs> oh, I, 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 was, know I don't know what, know what that is. Uh, floaty. So, like, hypothetically... You like, eat too much say, fat. There's a little too much fat in your diet. And, yeah, uh, like, let's say you go to the chick nice and you go in the chick room like at her house. She didn't flush it and it's a floaty. It's on top. Do you... What? That's a solid question. This no, it's is not. It's a, this is things in life that may occur. If it was a solid question, you were just saying. <laughs> These are things in life that may occur. And you need people like me in life to think about the things that could possibly happen. So if this was to happen, you wouldn't just think about it. I can't really honestly remember spot. walking in on no doo-doo. You at her house. Y'all having a good night candlelight dinner. She cooked why, and everything. Why are you at her house? You Because y'all chilling. She invited you over. You're never at her house. You shouldn't be. What are you talking about? Okay, we at Joe's crib. You can leave a little. You go in the bathroom after her, and there's a floaty there. Y'all still getting down? Yes. Nigga, yes. We're going to flush the toilet. Yes. And I'm going to go and continue to. What are you talking about right now? I'm going to flush this meat. What are you doing? Let me, let me hear. Why y'all sound let me, so, let, me, let me hear. I'm, I don't understand let me hear why that's a question, bro. It's a little alarming. Fam, you know chick shit, right? For sure. So but why? we also know that they have the sensible mind of flush when they done. But maybe y'all not asking Maybe there was a little like, Jiggle situation questions. Is it, is it tissue the on the toilet, toilet? Is it not? Sometimes the toilet shit Kick it, it back What if there's no tissue on the toilet? Yo, you could take a shit and What if it's no tissue on the toilet? Oh no there's an issue Come on man Come on What are we you, talking yo, about Now everybody just super nasty jump right The in tissue the shower, went down And the shit didn't go down yeah. That's a shot back That's up. Nah, that's a trick. Nah, I have, the, I'd have a couple questions. She put the tissue no. in the trash. Thanks, Parks, she put the tissue in the trash can. Jump right in the shower, bro. Yeah, Thanks, Parks. Parks. yeah you niggas are fucking about? heathens. Bro. What's wrong with you? Why y'all trying to find so many reasons for why her shit I'm still ain't in the pop. toilet? That's I'm what I'm a, telling you. I'm, 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 I'm still gonna eat ass. <laughs> It's about hey, popping. Hey, hey we're going to make this I'm, one right I'm still hey, listen, eating make, ass. This, make that the trailer. Because I got questions about that. I'm <laughs> about, not going to lie. About eating ass? About floaties in ass. Like, how you eating ass fresh out of float? Like, she fresh off She fresh off a of malfunction. Hey, bro, how old are you again? Yeah, I'm not this, trying to be funny. This nigga, man. You 30, 30, 32, you said? So, it's no question that we have to talk about. If we chilling, you going in <laughs> shit. I go in the bathroom behind you, and there's shit in the toilet that you didn't flush. How much McDonald's I'm, did you I'm eat? Flush we it, answered man. you. I'm going to no. flush it. All right, next it. question. I'm yeah, not going to have it. a conversation about yeah, it. I'm going to flush, flush it. Shit. It ain't no and, tissue in that toilet. Oh. But I'm gonna mind my business. All right, cool. Go ahead. Be cool with what oh, you're so, cool with. Oh, this is the first dirty bitch I fucked. Nah, it's not. But when do we stop? Stop fucking. Where do we draw the line? <laughs> what do you draw the line? Like, you're a fucking millionaire. You, you don't care about her floaties? You must be. You know what? I, it might have happened already. Yo, I, you might be trying to. Where's that alone? old surf that was fucking them Newark scallywags, yo? I still Man. like nasty dirty bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, need, we need that surf, Let's yo. be clear. I still. I, this new surf that only fucks the baddies. He just told us about girls that suck his dick for eight hours straight. So, oh, I mean. Bro, like, I got dirty bitches. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that don't mean they. No, that they just, can't imagine. That just I mean, mean they don't care just, about fucking flushing. That just mean he fucking a pill head. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, this bitch is numb all over. Numb. She didn't, she didn't even numb. know it was an she's hour. She's numb everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Eight hours? I thought that was 20 minutes. That'd be the shit. She thinking you on super dick. No, nah, it's Zanny's, bitch. <laughs> that is, I'm asleep, actually. He's a Zanny bar. Y'all surprised me with that, but I, I'm next question. So it's the Airbnb market. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So, from, go ahead. Sir, floating to, to the air. Yeah, oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. It hey, you chicks will not be allowed to leave floaties and Airbnbs any longer. Uh, no, 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 at no. least not in Atlanta. <laughs> Take it, ish. This nigga's crazy. Nah, in Atlanta they uh, released something saying that the city, mm-hmm. on a whole, is banning people from owning more than two Airbnbs. Correct. One of them you have to live in, mm-hmm. and then you can rent out the other one. Correct. Some bullshit. You think it's, you bullshit? Think it's bullshit? Absolutely. Why? This is America. Um, I think free enterprise is free enterprise. I think that some niggas buy houses with the sole purpose on Airbnb and being them out. You don't so think that's ne- problematic? I think that should put a cap on like whole. Oh, don't get too crazy around nah, this motherfucker. I think that. Um, so let's just say hypothetically, you had ten Airbnbs. Yeah. And you renting them out. 
uh-huh. and you're making a nice profit from them. That's your business. So you're renting apartments out. Uh-huh. It's just short-term leases. Yeah. I think they, now just... they they come in and they stop it. Now, who pays your mortgage? I think they Wait, crack it on. excuse me? You, can you rent do. It. I know. <laughs> All the time. What are you talking about? Every month. You can rent it out as an apartment. But it might not cover what you were making before. And that's your problem. No. Mm-hmm. Now something that was implemented in the middle of this. In the middle of what? In the middle of, they just. You don't think there's a problem with people buying up a bunch of property just to rent them out as Airbnb and then displacing people that could be living in these areas because they can charge way more for the apartment uh, to try- rent it out as Airbnbs? Raising the entire rent of a neighborhood? You don't think that's parks. potentially no. problematic? Uh, God parks. damn, parks. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think that's fair. I think that's fair enterprise. Right on, bro. I, th- I think we, it's fair enterprise. I think that. um. Look at the words he put out there. You know? I think it's all fair. I think it's fair enterprise. <laughs> Yo, so you you work harder, nigga. You agree with Toro? Who's Toro? Toro with the cars and I about the him. name from famous author. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Toro? Yo, he wrote the discourse on Washington. And- <laughs> nah, Toro, the car, the car rental the spot where you could rent, you could rent a car on Toro, like somebody's own vehicle, like oh, somebody okay. else's vehicle. Uh-huh. So, oh, what you, so what you got to do? It's, it's like Airbnb of it's, cars. It's, it's Airbnb, Airbnb of cars, car. right? That's okay. different, though. It's, it's a little the different. Same exact thing. It's different. It's Tell cars. Me. You're talking about properties where people can live, and you're, like Park said, you're displacing people that could possibly live here. A car is something totally different. And I actually do have a problem with that too. I think they should cap that too because I. I had to fight for Perkin out here nailing tooth every day. No, nigga, people couldn't buy cars for the last two years. Uh huh. People couldn't buy cars for the you last think two so? years because of Toro. It plays a part in it. Hell no. You're bugging. People you think- are buying cars with the sole purpose of renting them out and making a mad money. I think Honda has enough Hondas for for for, tell for everybody. Tell Benz that. Why would Benz care? They, they on back order for years. Benz they, is on back order. Yeah. Not Honda though. People that's buying cars. Yo, for you're trying to buy your Honda. Not buying what ten. Huh? When you're trying what to buy happened? a Honda, what happened? All the car dealers waiting? were on back order, bro. Oh, yeah. Everybody was on back order. All cars are on back order. All I just period. don't think it's because of Toro. No, that plays a so. part in it. I'm just saying, niggas that's trying to buy houses, they not not able to buy houses because of Airbnb. So I think there's a lot more going on in Atlanta also, too, because like you got mad people CPN and shit. Like It's a lot of... What's like CPN? White collar scam. Like white collar scam. Uh, like putting, you know, putting these names in different people's shit. But yeah. still, no, what they're saying is you can't... One person can't own more than two. And one of them has to be a primary resident. So my thing is, that's like saying, yo, I can't buy buildings. Or t- everybody can't buy buildings. It's a, it's a short-term nah, I rental. I think a, a building might be different. Why not? If you, I mean, I would like to think of building because it's saying already you can't have two. Every building has more than two apartments, so that I, it would have to not apply for this. So it's saying, yo, what, what if they capped how many buildings Surf could own, and Surf lives off a of real estate investor? Then I'm gonna have to work around whatever number I could use. There you go. So I just think that's unfair to the people that already own mad property that already have created this as a business. Now going forward, if you are trying to buy something, you understand the rules you already playing by. But See, that's Ish, what question. do you say to I don't hear but well, what do you say to Parks' point about disheveling people that could live I, in these places? You keep talking about from right. the perspective of the guy that has two and three and four properties. But if you have the money to have two and three and four properties, then why are we looking out for you uh, versus the person who doesn't have a home because of how business is ran? One, you're not un- you're not uh, homeless because of Airbnb. There's a million houses for sale. I could be. No, you can't be. How not so? I'm about to answer you. If you have the money and the credentials to buy a home, you might can't buy that home, but there are homes available. But if you Airbnb in 12 cribs and I'm trying to move If everybody the has 10 and 12 Airbnbs and I want a crib in this specific spot, yeah, I can have the money and not have and not have a crib to get. The same way I have money to get a car. I couldn't get a car. Get a car. So, it's the same no, no. exact shit. All right, so let me explain to you. So when you have money and you can't get a car, what do you do? Don't get a car? I, I waited and paid more to all get right. a car. So if you want to move to Fort Lee, you want to move to Edgewater, you want to move to Harlem, you want to move to Brooklyn, and it's one specific neighborhood and they had no houses for sale, what do you do? You got to find another place. Thank you. So if you wanted to move in this one specific neighborhood and the Airbnb people owned the homes legally, you move your ass to another fucking neighborhood. And I think the that, same way you would do if you did that. What if I couldn't afford? Which like, what would if allow the people that I'm to, have, to have a monopoly in certain towns? And why would anybody allow that? A monopoly? How? 
Because if you could own the whole block, that's a monopoly. That Literally, is a monopoly. That's that, the game. Yeah. What the? So if you could own twenty houses on River Road, right? If you could own, that's good I for you. But how speak, good is that for the city? I would love to. You're paying taxes. The city don't really give a fuck. With their instance, the city is saying that uh, loud parties and other shit are coming into play now. Like niggas be having that's part parties. of it. So that's part of it. But we've this topic has been brought up before. That's why when I hear this, I automate. I think. They were making these rules for these huge companies that were buying buildings and whole ass properties, like whole, not just one and two, but they were buying mad properties to Airbnb them and it was fucking up people of the town. I think that was a New Orleans story that we spoke about. I don't know about that. I don't have no we idea. spoke about it. I have it, no but, knowledge of that. But, but I, I don't think this is even catered to the person because because in reality, how many people, see so you're in real estate, so this is near and dear to your heart. But if you're not in real estate, how many people are taking all of their money to go and buy places to Airbnb? The whole block. Like, a lot of people are doing it because it, now it is a new form of income for people. How this, many, when you start talking know, about more, who has more than two houses, I think that number is small. And also, not for yeah. nothing, too, imagine if, I don't know what kind of area you live in. I can imagine, for me, if all these shits were Airbnbs over here and there's just people coming in and out at all times and not from here and leaving garbage around and partying and they coming into the building and I don't know who's what, I would be tight. And I would be calling my local fucking uh, uh, say, well, Congress, whatever the I fuck. Say, it just don't sound right. Like say, co- the Congress let tight. somebody monopolize. Like yeah. when you think about that, that has to be illegal. I don't want my neighbors to yo, all be strangers. Yo, before this shit even got to be a hot topic nationally, my last few times going into Airbnb, the owner of the place was like, yo, keep it low. The building, they have a little, they feel a way about the Every Airbnb time we do people. That. It's been people throwing parties, in and out, robberies, such and such and such. Like, valid complaints. Uh-huh. So, I mean, all that shit, I totally understand it. I'm actually a little shocked at, at your stance. Why? I, 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 I want y'all to remember this when it presents itself in another way that's not real estate based. I want y'all to have the same verve and the same quote-unquote morality when it's not something that's real estate based. But the morality might not be there if it's it's not houses. It might not stand, the point might not stand if it's something else. Like you can't purchase X amount of blanks or, but for something like housing, it might be a just statement. Wow. Again, because things change. People live there. (laughs) Because people like, like you say, you say, but a car, it's a necessity. Cars might be different. A lot of things, a a lot of things are necessities in the world. Like, food, Right, so, so if they niggas, so if they pulled up gas. and said you can't buy it, like it's times when we have things going on in America where it's like, yo, you're only allowed to get X amount of gas or X amount of because sometimes Gouging. it calls for that. Gouging. Mm-hmm. when they run the price up and then they exactly. put the limits on shit, yeah. But they don't say, yo, you can only get twenty gallons. I mean, yo, when the, when the pandemic first hit, I remember going in Costco and they was like, yo, you can only two get, per family. You only get you only get one one paper towels. Mm-hmm. You can only such get one. You can only get two. Yeah. You can only yeah, get two like, forty. Exactly. 40 depending on of water. the temperature of America, depending yeah. on the ten- temperature of what we living in, like that, that's, that's this is not unbelie- That's not unbelievable, and it might happen actually, a I'm lot not more places. By it. It's just because he's in real estate. Listen, what I'm saying. Of course, I, I'm saying that for you if I have six mortgages. If I got six mortgages already and I pay my mortgage based on Airbnb, which again for everybody is rentals, it's I, no different than somebody you having a hotel at the end of your block. I think we got to divulge. Yes, in the, it is because you're, you're talking about zoning residential versus zoning commercial. I'm talking about the moral shit that you talked about with people leaving garbage and all that other shit around and people coming and going. Yeah. That's that's the stance that you stood on. Uh-huh. So if you had a hotel at the end of I your block, I don't have a hotel at the end of my block. They, uh, you can't build a hotel hy- on this block. <sighs> you can't. We're talking about hypothetical situations so you don't live on the block with an Airbnb I'm not sure I'm talking about do. if somebody in Manhattan lives in Manhattan there's hotels there You niggas that live in Edgewater or River Road there are three or four hotels on that block so there are people always coming and going that you do not know that are moving back and forth to and fro nobody lives relatively and I would, close I would like want I would want the town place. to step in if by chance they just the, some rich niggas or rich company somewhere came and put hotels on the in whole strip. In my backyard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If the whole strip was hotels, I would want but somebody if, to intervene and say, yo, you, you can't do that. If McDonald's came in, we were just talking many, that talk about how they're a real estate company. You talk if they about, bought the whole River Road hotels. and could would only put McDonald's there, I want somebody to jump in and say, and you talk about an instance that's not always go to You talk about an instance that's not real though. How many hotel parties affect house living? It depends. I don't know. That's I, a, that's I can't that's, speak, a, that's crazy. I can't that's speak crazy. to how many Airbnbs affect. Houses. We just talking about like I River don't Road say, is like, having for the most part not, not residential. So that's, that's a, that's a you're wrong. Point. River Road is all residential. 
The whole entire River There's Road. There's mad is right. shopping in gas stations and restaurants and all River that River Road is 90% residential. Well, That's a fact. You talking about city That's place and above city place is all it's residential. residential. It's residential. Above all over River Road is 90% and, and residential. And will continue to be. And it's going to continue but, to be going. There's four hotels on River Road. And I don't think that I don't care how loud it gets in the hotels. I don't know how much you take. That. Wait, hold, you take your ass to that hotel. You might be wrong in that, but it's fine. It might be five. Me. You take your ass to one of them hotels and start trying to turn up and throw a party. I've done it before. <laughs> they kick my ass right the fuck out of there. Hmm. Hey, and some of these Airbnbs they have in the contract that you yep, can't, you can't that party. You can't do that. Yes. And I think that they have failed. And so now for that sure. is uh, so. Listen. We taking it to the party shit. We we go on and saying that that's the only reason that you can't. See, have. but it's well, no, if I, think, I live next door to you, our, and I you think are we my mad kids. reasons why they would want to stop that, right? I'm not just pointing to one reason why they would do this. I'm like, not. yo, if you if you live at number twelve Main Street in a in a, in an Airbnb as number fourteen Main Street, and you can't sleep at one in the morning because they wilding, call the fucking cops. But there's ways around this though. If the you same really thing in a you're real doing estate, any residential neighborhood. All right, but listen, as a town, forget about the angle we're taking it from. As a town, yeah, I could see a town wanting to protect the citizens by saying, but the, especially the citizens you said, the, the ones that have the money. If you have the $2,500, $3,000 per month to pay this rent or the $3,500 or whatever it is mm. to pay this rent, I could see them wanting to protect you having to pay that for a month versus your Airbnb and having to pay that for a two and three day stay. All right. You lost me. You said as the town, so the town of Atlanta, the city is right. protecting the people. I'm seeing a ish. Let's just use you. You got the Airbnb. Got you got ten of them shits. You getting it? Probably. You got fucking mm -hmm. a million dollars. I'm renting them. You making thirty five hundred a month every two if weeks? I, if, if I'm the town and niggas is displaced, but I'm watching you get money. That's what we messing up at. Why? Because when you say displace, it means you're taking somebody from A, moving them to point B. That's displacement. I'm not taking anybody. It was a house for sale. I bought it. I didn't displace anybody. I didn't take somebody out of their home and make them move across town. It's not gentrification. Stop, 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 stop. Let me, let me follow up. Okay. You see what I'm I saying? I disagree with no? your example. Because in this, let's do that. But you have two and three homes. Mm -hmm. And now... Let's multiply you by however many niggas is out there doing it. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Now the niggas is displaced, no? No. 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 Because he's Why? saying Think about because this. he's buying look. the house. It's not saying, yo, I bought this house, y'all gotta move. Yeah. That's not what it he's was saying. An empty I don't care if it's a thousand it. niggas that bought a thousand houses. We bought these houses. I could rent them out for but movies. Whatever I want to do. I could rent them out for you, movies. You could. Want. They're saying you can't Airbnb these places. I'm just saying the displacement argument is is false. That's not you're Look, not displacing. It is if everybody if if you buy all the houses in Edgewater mm -hmm. and all of them are for Airbnb, then how are people not displaced? Maybe I'm educate me because they're not already there. When you yes. displace them, let me let me give you an example, right? Because you're actually not moving I, people out. Right, the, the you know, on River that's Road. what you're saying. Okay, you know River I understand. Road, what the that's Club. a semantic thing. I yeah, get what like, you're saying. Or take they're any of them there. buildings. The nine. <laughs> take the nine. Right? But they want the opportunity to the town pay more, pay more. That's Yo, totally if, if we bro. go to the nine, me and totally you go different. to the nine. Me and totally you, I, I, you know, I'm not usually on the side of that. But I that's think totally this don't, different. this don't do nothing but really put a radius. Cl I think that's just. You Yo, said you agree that you should. I'm saying this don't really like. I disagree. But it's fine. This don't like my thing is this. Ish could be arguing a point that they already got figured out. Like they could be saying that if you already have X amount already, then you fine. But going forward, once this goes... No, they saying that the niggas that got them now can't use yes, them no more. And that's some bullshit. They gotta, they gotta, that, and I think that's, that's crazy. And that's the bad part. I think that's, that's the crazy. bad part. But this just puts like... So you're going to have to do monthly <coughs> rentals. So now I can't go to do short-term rentals. It's I got to do... If you enter real estate for real, that's not a big deal, though. This really just puts a radius clause on your property. That's it. But if because I'm already, if this is for the city of Atlanta, mm -hmm. the, and I only can have two spots in Atlanta, in Atlanta. I can go to McDonough. I can, I can go, go to, to other you know suburbs I mean? of Atlanta. You know, different but spots, what I'm yeah. saying is, if you already, let's say you already own two, eight spots. Hear me out. You own eight houses in Atlanta, mm -hmm. right? You renting them out for three hundred dollars a day. Mm -hmm. Fuck a month, a day, right? Yeah, they it's fucking up a bag. So you potentially have the potential to make nine grand a month. Uh -huh. What are you talking about right now? We so talking about if you own eight, in Atlanta. said you own eight houses in Atlanta. In Atlanta. You rent them out for three hundred dollars a day. You have the potential to make nine thousand dollars a month. Uh -huh. We all following me. Yes. Mm -hmm. My mortgage is four grand. I could potentially make nine grand. Uh -huh. For me to break even, all I got to do is rent my shit out for thirteen days out of the month. That's my break even point. 
Now the market in that particular area, the rents are thirty five hundred dollars. What do I do at that point? Well, I'm you taking just a loss. A lot. Of I'm money. taking a loss right now. Right for sure. So now I own eight houses. I could have been making nine grand a month off eight houses. That's seventy two thousand dollars. All I'm saying is you stop, have stop, to. Stop, stop, stop. I want to reply to that. Sure. And that you're taking the loss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In my example, I'm saying if I'm the town or the city or whoever has ordinance here. Mm-hmm. And I'm weighing all of these Airbnbs with out-of-towners coming in and giving the money to these landlords and then leaving Mm -hmm. versus the money that in-towners will spend in town with local businesses in the city. That tax, I'm weighing more. So... Why would that not be considered? And also, just a, my, picture yourself being question. the neighbor of the Airbnb, and you got random motherfuckers but coming now, in like, all the time. You, you just tight. rent now, and you can't Airbnb, but you can still rent your shit out. All they doing is and telling it probably you, lowers the property yeah, value you, of the neighbors' houses. They telling you don't Airbnb it, rent it out, so we could get some. I don't want to rent it out. No, it's it's still it's still a rental. Regardless, it's still a rental. It's just a short term rental Compared versus a long term rental. Like a twelve. So to answer Joe's point. When the people come from out of town, you know who's spending the money at the local businesses? The that tourists from out of town. When I go to Dallas, I stay in an Airbnb when I go to the Cowboys games. So guess what I do? I go to all of the local restaurants and the local businesses to spend money when I go to out of town. And, we, then, and then what do you do? I get Bo got back to my Airbnb and I leave. And then you go home. Yes. So now the Versus local the person that lives there. The local people People that are visiting, we go to restaurants more. We go spend money outside more. We, niggas that live there, they're going to grocery shop and typically eat at home. Families typically. There's eat no at home. way them Airbnb's but that's a, that's is a full business too. all day, every day. Yeah. I know, but now I'm spending more money into the local economy as a tourist. But you're spending money differently. Okay, so now it just negates. It's not more, it's and you're not saying that, that you're not saying that the I'm in New you're not York, saying that the so travelers are spending I more money in the town than the than the we out here the the live here what and I'm go out and spend. You have now just stopped somebody's way of making money. <laughs> no, they're not hotel rooms. I think you just described a different bucket though. The tourism money, you're right, it's there, but it's they looking at that the rental separately. money. The rental money. You just stopped somebody's potential. I said because we use surfs eight houses as the. The, the potential mm. So I potentially At $300 a night Can make nine bands Now you forcing me To either sell my house Or rent it Long term rentals You're forcing me To tell me What I gotta do With my property True Yeah That's, that's kinda yeah. how it goes But that happens yeah. Yeah. How cities and That things. don't happen how it often That's kinda how it goes It yeah, does that's, that's Every low You niggas is running it up use. Okay we gonna come in here And change some shit now And that's my point that's That all. does not happen often Yep that happens every that happens day, all actually. The time. In real estate? No, just in period. Life. No, period. No, period. You wake up and you can't do some shit that you could do yesterday. No, not the shit that you typically own. I mm-hmm. might disagree. If they was to wake up tomorrow and tell mm-hmm. people on it, the city was to say, you can't park on this block no more, mm-hmm. it's the fuck over. Yeah, but the city would be in uproar. All of these motherfuckers. And it wouldn't live- matter. We're in uproar right now. We're going out of each other. I know. Right now. It don't matter. No, but <laughs> with people. Don't park on that block. I could even. The, the place, the, the old place where they're building the new shit. They wanted to build a nine story high rise shit. Mm-hmm. The neighborhood voted on it and said, hell the fuck no, you don't. You build a six story and you mm-hmm. got to put in affordable housing for a certain amount of people. That's it's the same happened. kind of concept. The, the neighbors can say, no, we don't want that bullshit in the neighborhood. Absolutely not. Yes and no. Um, my thing is this they already own them. They already own them. And that's my point. They already own them. That's how I feel. I agree but with that. But you know you still got to answer to someone. Yeah, so if I bought them under these pretenses, they should stay grandfathered in. And that's what typically oh, yeah, no, that's no. what typically happens in real estate. Once something is grandfathered in, it's grandfathered in. Moving forward, it, we can't do other shit. All it takes is a stroke of a pen to change yeah. that. With every state and every place. I see what you're with saying. I get what you're saying. But, yeah. but, with America, uh, it just takes a stroke of a pen to change every law. And you just feel a way that it has now affected... Uh, it's not even about imagine, real imagine, It's about business. Imagine moving it's to Texas and you at least need but carded this license. In business. Imagine, we've, seen, we've seen this if in you business moved it, When forever. I moved to Texas, yeah. I need when a carded happens, license to... Go crazy. Now you don't need nothing at all. Can I not be in the uproar if I'm a resident of Texas? When I first got here, you needed at least a license to get a gun. Now that I live here five years later, you don't need anything at all. What's the difference? Things they change, change times change. change. Law. Like change. laws change. It's nothing I you could do about that. You, but let's say hypothetically, you bought forty guns mm-hmm. and you didn't need um, X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. Now all of a sudden they change the rules while I already got my guns, and now you don't. I have to accept Let it. Let me finish okay. my sentence. And now you don't qualify to own none. You feel a certain way. 
I mean, it wouldn't change like that because they didn't say nothing. If they say no, Yo, you saying with if, the if, of- if we living in Texas and then they, we wake up tomorrow and Texas says, "Hey, you only can have twelve guns in your house Two. instead of." So that's what they doing with the house. We'll just make it equivalent to whatever. Like Two. I got forty guns, you could buy way like. Okay, cool for you. No, they're saying have, two houses. You oh no, I know two. what you're saying. I guns are saying. way cheaper than houses or season. Guns are, exactly. So let's just you know, fair. if somebody got 40, 10 guns, it's just gonna change. Like you know what I mean? Like that's what like the arguments. It really just changes. I agree. You know what I mean? It sounds like you don't. You're it, not you. You too old to not do. Everything changes. Listen, the way these people are feeding their kids has now abruptly changed. That's every day. We talking about NBA. I don't like fo- that ish. So you taking a side of they the, were wealthy to begin with. There was a small. That's win. not true. There was. A, I hate when people oh, say that's that. Not that's not true. Not true. Every not landlord true. ain't wealthy. That's not true. And some of these landlords have way more expenses than other people. Every landlord is not true. That's, it's that, not rich. That's, that's not that's true. A, I agree with that. It's not true. So again, if if somebody is you mix for a living, you do a podcast for a living, you rap. Other people got different professions. If, ma- if magically they just said now all of a sudden your Patreon subscriptions you can't charge more than X Y Z, you're not gonna say yo shit changes. Man, that's like that's like the landlord knowing I survive off the trap and I can't go upstairs and say yo the block not booming right now. True. But no. But the not, landlord ain't gonna give a fuck it's about not, my. It's not, it's not the same, the same. because you get all see, this, this extra. Now money we get into square conversation. Like, no, because you saying the block. Like, listen, you know I mean? like, no, 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 no. No, listen to what you say. I disagree. You saying the block not booming? You not say, listen. You not saying nothing. yo? I hit a lick and I'm up. Cause that's and I'm happened. still not gonna pay you. That's what happened. Niggas hit licks. I hit a lick. I'm up. I'm still gonna pay you. I'm doing better than I was when I was working. Now, and I'm still not gonna pay you. I tell you what, listen. If I was under con- if I was under contract with your crib, right, and mm-hmm. I went into and I went and me and my friends robbed the bank, and mm-hmm. I had to pay rent that month, I would pay my rent. If I, I if I, I hit the so. casino, I would pay that rent. I would if hope I don't so. give a fuck what type of money, I would pay my rent if I, I came up on some money. True. But if the state say I don't have to pay my rent, you and need to go holler at the state. All that moral sub- all that shit. And is- but you still cracking the casino ass. You still wouldn't pay your rent. I would pay if 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 I had to pay rent and mm-hmm. I went to the casino and I smacked the casino for hundred bands. I'm paying my rent regularly. But, why? But 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 if the why? State, hold on. God, hold on. Hold on. Why? Hold on. St- why? Wait wait wait, wait wait wait. Because I have to pay my rent. <laughs> hold on. Exactly. Hold on. Hold on. Now, same same example. The state say yo, you ain't got to pay rent. Right. But you go to the but casino. You, you crack the ass. You up two hundred. Do you pay the rent? No. You lying. you lying. Now you lying. You lying. I swear to God. Yo, I, oh, shit. We, no, lying. listen. The difference is the state saying you don't have to pay rent. If, you don't pay the rent either. You're that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I cat, bro. Not, I you're wrong. Because I'm not a realtor and I paid the rent. I'm an example. Parks paid the rent. You're wrong. You got two examples that Yo, that shit was really rent. for every single person that nobody had to pay rent? Yeah. yeah. If you, and, you, and, if you was and, un- and I paid rent. And I paid the rent. That's what I'm saying. So... You saying if Ish wasn't a realtor, he wouldn't have paid it? I believe he would have paid the rent because we all paid it. Let me ask you why you paid yours then. I fucked Are you well asking me? Yeah. Everybody in this room speaks from a position of privilege. That's why everybody paid the rent. Go ahead. You do it. Don't. I ain't gonna do it. You do. That's it. why. Hey, I hey pay. Joe, the the extra the five bands a month puts you in a little bit of. You wasn't making that before. You up up now. Why we only speak like? Why we keep trying to speak so about this? So what? We don't believe that's a position. So that's what? a position of privilege, Joe. Five thousand a month. No, not a position. No, not a position. No, 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 listen. If you're making no, less, not a position. If you are making I'm less, making I, less. I'm directly replying to that. That is false. That is not a position of privilege because there's now a loophole that says for the foreseeable future I get extra income. That's not privilege. It's actually the exact opposite, which is why the behavior is there of not paying it. It's not privilege. Why? We speak from privilege. on top of everybody. That's got not it. privilege. Why, why is that not privilege? Yeah, you lost me. That's not privilege. Why? How is why? That? I, because if you. Me. If you're a minimum wage worker, right? Say, say, shit went bad, and it mm-hmm. often goes bad in this country. Mm-hmm. And now you're making less. You still got to pay the shit. You're not making. You're less. not making less. You're making more for this short period of time. For this it was two years. I am you don't, a little you bit don't up. earn more. For Eighteen months. Stop, stop, stop. That's why it's not privilege. You don't earn more. You are being given more. You are being given more for a short window of time, which is not privilege. The people in here earn more. Privilege, so so what you're saying is correct. Privilege must be is relative then, based on where you look at it from and where you are in the conversation. So if I made forty thousand dollars a year, yeah, that's the baseline. Mm -hmm. That's eight hundred dollars a week. Now, the government is giving me twelve hundred dollars a week Mm -hmm. instead of the eight hundred instead of the eight that I was making. But I was paying, but I was paying my rent when I was getting eight hundred a week. Mm -hmm. Now, why were you paying your rent? Because I worked. No. 
See, and that's where we disagree. No, I'm about to. I'm gonna get to your. Point. Yeah, you don't pay your. Rent I get what your you point work. is. Go no, ahead. I get what your point. No, I pay my rent because I'm in a contract with the landlord. That's why I pay my rent. But right. now the government puts a cease on or a temporary contract. hold on the contract, saying not on a contract, saying that I can't evict you. Yeah. I can't yeah, evict yeah, yeah. you. They call it eviction moratorium. Yeah. That they put that we couldn't, you couldn't evict nobody. Yeah. Right. Cool. So now I go up though. Now I'm up additional four hundred a week. The renter. The renter. Yes. Uh-huh. It's up an additional 400 a week. Yeah. In my opinion... And they stopped your rights. Not me. The, I didn't stop your rights. No, you didn't stop But anything. your rights are stopped. My rights are by now state. stopped. By, by, by somebody. The, the, the it feds. ain't me. The feds. The feds. It wasn't even the state feds. thing. It was the feds. The feds. Saying it, it was an eviction moratorium. It was a state thing, actually. But every state had one. An right. eviction moratorium because some people released there sooner than others. So the state now says, yo, you don't got to pay your rent and you can't get evicted. Yes. But you getting more money than once you was getting when you was really paying rent. Yeah. So you say, fuck that. I ain't paying no rent. I'm balling out here. I'm crab legs every night. I'm going to go get a new car. I'm going to go do all this other stuff. That's the moral rule. But that's what I highlight, though. Once you start saying the cars, once you start saying the cars and the crab legs, that's what highlights the pocket watching, though. Because what they choose to do with that 1500 the minute you speak on it, you watching what they're doing. You, no, that's that's no. why I like the pocket watching. Okay. No, because because I am pocket like, watching because, because I'm not getting paid. Because of the pandemic, that's why I'm you watching, can't eat crap. That's why I'm watching your pocket. Because I'm not getting paid what you owe me. That's why I'm as watching long, your pocket. As long as you say it's that. But get, you that's say, why I'm watching your pocket. What pockets. you asking that question, you're saying that I am watching. That's all I was saying. I'm watching your pockets because you are living better than you did. And I'm not being paid. But you don't have if to you watch my pockets. Doing, you could be you know eating crab legs you, every fucking you know night with the paying. extra four hundred dollars. But I'm not. I'm, but I'm not not paying because I don't have it. You know I have it because you see what's going on with because you're watching the renters. And that's, that's where, where the morality comes in. It's not that you don't. I don't have like that it you keep trying to make it a moral thing. It is yeah, a moral that's, thing. That's just where yes. we disagree at. That, not, I don't like that. It's not moral to you. It's moral, so, like, man. Nah. There's old ladies out here that's like, man, whoo, that that rent off my back, like that old Baby lady ain't got no morals. Yeah, it's not. I don't a moral like that. Thing. That that's the only thing. Because morally, that's they did morally, they did nothing wrong. <laughs> no, legally, they did nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. Morally, they did do something wrong. Well, that's, no, that's, still that's, that's, no, 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 that's okay. True. No, that's not true. I'm right because now you. Put Am I right? I'm not mad no, at that. you're not right because you're putting everybody's moral compass at the same thing. No, I didn't say that. Making it equal. Yeah, and that's not the truth. If people are, if to the majority, to the majority. If people are obeying the law and not doing anything where it can jam them up mm-hmm, and right. not doing anything to where they are losing sleep at night, mm-hmm. then to them, this ain't a moral conversation. Right. It is a moral conversation. No, no, no. I got, so, I got, I got, I got so we can't never, so we can't never ne- sock, knock the niggas that sold the oxies. Huh? What's the company that... Sacklers? Yeah, we can't knock them. You can't call them pieces of shit because legally they, they did what the wrong. government said that they could fucking do. Well, no. Legally, they did what the government said they could do. They paid off legislation. They got laws changed. They did whatever the fuck they wanted to do. And they did what the government confines said that they could do. The beef with them is that they use their power and influence and wealth and resources to get laws changed. Exactly. Stop, stop, stop. What they did was not legal. Wow. Wow. They got something passed that shouldn't have been passed. Says who? Says the, F, says the FDA, which is why they came back and said, hey, this is wrong. Okay. They came back and said and that. Why, and when they, until they come back and say it's wrong, it's, it's legal. Right. It's legal. And I'm going to sell as much motherfucking skag as I can to all of these people in prescription-based form, and y'all called them pieces of shit. Well, I never, no, I never wait, watched the doc. Out, I never out. watched I the doc. time out, because I did Hold watch the doc. Uh-huh. It's not that it was they legal. Lied. They fabricated they lied documents. to the like, FDA. That's, that's fraud. That's they different. They lied cool. and got something passed. It wasn't legal. Okay. Yeah, In that case, then they are, they Quick are question, immoral. Hey. Quick question. But yeah, they was uh, immoral. That's immoral. I'm, I'm standing corrected. Yeah. There are other instances where we come in here and we judge people, especially big businesses, for taking advantage of other people immorally. Man, we talk about record deal We talk about record labels all the time. All the time. That's all right. valid. Cool. And we That's say valid. it's immoral for them to do Predatory car loans with a 28% interest yeah. rate. All of that is immoral. It's legal. It, but it's legal. Yep. Yeah. I got a question. I think the, the music business bro, is Hold on. Hey, Joe. Hey, to answer you. And this, uh, 
Like it's still in the but same. But I so don't think I, the real estate business is immoral, and I'm only arguing this with him because this was a brief window in time where there is a national crisis, and no one knows what's going to end. I don't, international yeah, crisis. I don't, international I don't, crisis. I'm with him on everything crisis. he said. Listen, but y'all but brief in window br- in time, t- brief to y'all is not brief to a motherfucker that's counting on that money. That's like saying, "Yo, you don't get no money for two years." But you weren't. You got kids. That the whole I'm country listening. is going through. You it. got kids. <laughs> You don't get money for three years. Bro, what seems like a short period of time to somebody that is privileged is a fucking eternity that somebody that's not. So why are we calling the owner of these multiple houses not privileged? Yeah, I ain't going to go back and forth because what the pandemic showed me is that it's sink or swim, yo. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, it that, is. That, that's that that's is true. I'm not arguing with it. No, that's he true. could be it, totally right in what it is. Saying. The swim. pandemic showed. I just they gonna throw some shit at you. You either gonna you go down right think, now. No, no nigga, it's can't coming the, now. I just think yeah, you can't yeah, use yeah. the whole. It's another pandemic why, is on the way, but it ain't gonna be a medical one. It's gonna be a financial one. You can't use the more. That's that was my only argument. The more. My thing is this: if you have the ability to pay somebody and you on the up, I feel like it's paying. Look real quick. I feel like it's like this. I feel like if you do the gesture, you get credit for morals, but if you don't do it, I'm not minusing your morals. Like the question I was going to ask you, like, let's say hypothetically tomorrow at a hospital, all nurses, right? They say, hey, if you want to come into work, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. And half the staff say, okay, they say we don't got to go into work. Mm-hmm. The nurses that choose to still go in, right, we would we would highlight their morals. Mm-hmm. And all the ones that mm-hmm. didn't, the yeah. But the ones that didn't go, do we automatically say they don't have morals because the state said they didn't have to go to work? Corey said the nurses that, remember they fired a bunch of nurses that didn't get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Right. But those same nurses was on the front lines taking care of motherfuckers during the pandemic. And we labeled them heroes. Right. So is that moral or immoral for the hospitals to fire them? But it was legal. It was legal for the hospitals to fire them. I also don't think it was a moral. Gotcha. Because that was, that if, if, if I run hospitals and I need you to have this for my hospital and you don't com- comply with what I need. You ain't, if, you ain't need me to have it when I was risking my life taking care of all these other motherfuckers. But now I do. In gotcha. a national crisis situation. In the middle of a national crisis. Now but now I do. we have things under more control and we have more information and we know that you would do more harm being here. And to what they said. Imagine me. Because we can argue yeah, to that. what they said. That's imagine you need a book. I'm, I'm with y'all in that. That's true. Imagine but, you need but, for what they saying. Imagine yeah, you then, need then, steel-toed boots and hard hats to work at my company, and then I want to fire the motherfuckers who think they don't need hats. Mm-hmm. But look, but no, no, how are you gonna be mad at me for saying, "Yo, no, if you different. don't, I'm gonna look out on the, I'm gonna look out at the construction and site, no and whoever hat. don't got a hat on, I'm it. gonna let them go." Mm-hmm. And I have a big sign that say hard hats are mandatory. Got you. But three weeks. I'm a morally wrong. No, 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 not at all in that instance. But four weeks ago, me, you, and all these motherfuckers was running around here busting their ass to get the building up to whatever code without no helmets on. But, but three, they didn't four, invent but helmets three, yet. But you three, no, they did invent helmets. You ain't give a fuck about but the moral. Three, but three, four weeks ago, four weeks three, four ago, weeks ago, we it was could. not mandatory yeah. for whatever instance. For, for you to be an owner of a construction site, your workers now have to wear hard hats. I didn't give a that's fuck a di- if y'all wear hard that's hats. That's a different analogy. That's I didn't a give a fuck analogy. if y'all wore hard hats because they didn't yeah. give a fuck if I gave a you, fuck if y'all wore hard hats. You was outside when just three weeks ago they let you in the club with your fitted on. They changed that shit right in front of your face. Let me go put my hat back. In the car, hey, real quick. It changed that shit right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Wasn't nothing to do about yo, it either. Yo, it was like, oh, word. Nigga had a box of fittings at the door. You like, put my shit in the car. Because let me ask you, do your you hospital go point. Swimming for your that, shit. That wasn't the hospital saying, yo, we got to let go of these nurses if they don't get their shot. I'm sure the hospitals would have loved to still have the hands on. Keep- that was whoever's calling the shot mm-hmm. above above the hospital. No, it a drug Look, it was a drug company that had the politician in their pocket saying, yo, sign I mean, it. that shit is cute, but I wouldn't want my uh, niece who is done with her cancer treatment now. But at the time, a, a flu would have killed her. God forbid. I wouldn't not want putting, her going to a place putting, where people were fucking vaccinated putting, against the fucking I just don't, you can't put morals pandemic that was killing that, the like, entire fucking world. Try to mix it morals with rules. I disagree. Yo, even the position we speak from is is all of us. Privileged, we are but, privileged, yo, but mad niggas died from some simple shit when all of that shit. Wrong nigga, come in here and yeah. sneeze. Well, you healthy, nigga. 
you could bench You've 220 been eating also. yogurt since you was two years old, too, nigga. <laughs> I don't eat yogurt, drink the hell of milk. Ish, don't talk to me, yo. I don't eat yogurt. You stop. Ish, you haven't sniffed white out grass, pen ink, <laughs> gasoline, weed, so I'm not any pill, <laughs> drug, alcohol. You ain't done nothing. You asked the bartender baddies for Fiji water, nigga. Yo, I don't want to talk to you. Fiji, ever. please. So that you, means that, yeah, that's that's that yeah. means I'm healthy. Hell yeah. Is that the sign? Every day before I go to bed, I say, Ish better outlive me. I swear to God. <laughs> I not swear to ass. God, he better. I swear to God, he better outlive me. Oh man! Nah, I tell y'all niggas, y'all, y'all better be at my shit. I've been <laughs> out here wilding. Y'all been on y'all P's and Q's. Hey, Corey, I be talking to him. He just get out and do thirty push-ups right quick. Yo, all right, nigga, you better live. <laughs> Your heart rate yeah, better get to pumping. <laughs> Your nigga be pulling nah, up, dead ass doing though. the steps. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what you did? Oh, yeah, I did steps twice today. Twice, huh? Nah, that shit almost miles. killed me the one time. <laughs> I did that y'all. shit one time, yo. I got to the top of that shit like... Uh, listen, I ran start, apart I, I, twice. Listen, I start getting on top now. She get on top, my heart start. <laughs> hey, the, my, my heart start doing some murmur on shit. Like, huh? She start dancing. Yeah, but me, I'm like, that bitch heart, is big. Yeah, bitch, this big is anything. The fuck is you talking about? My heart be like, I gonna take a little walk to the door. I'm not to get jiggy with it. Look at you talking about. Hey, you ever try to like mask your breathe after sex? Yes, you're breathing too hard. Yo, you be breathing too hard like that. You gotta stop your shit, slow it, cool it down. Yo, you might die trying to hold in your breathe, Dorsey. Yeah. Now that's a topic. You try to breathe out your nose. I grew out of that shit. She ain't breathing as hard as you breathing I when rushed, you done. I rushed to the balcony like I got to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I rushed to that door. <laughs> I put your ah, Yo, I done put my forehead on a lot of air conditioners. Yeah. She, she fucked me so good. I'm at the air conditioner like this. <laughs> yeah, you really try to get your cool bag like this. Yeah, don't let us, you letting us, it out slow. Us drug heads? Because you're not really supposed to do drugs nah. and have sex, so Facts. that's a lot of motion. Facts. You got to go straight to the camp. You like, you at the air conditioner like this. Buddy. I'm laying right on the ground in front of the air conditioner. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like this. I'm laying on the floor <laughs> ass out. naked. Yeah, don't tell no this. going in my ass. I'm, I'm on the floor. Bad slime on my shit. Bro, I'm getting air. Yo, air is so important. The pool is going in. Yo, listen. No, he's talking. Yo, when you He's talking right now. you having sex, you need air. To go in all holes, <laughs> yo, bro. You lay your ass on the floor. You, the floor is the coolest place in the world, bro. I know that you, bathroom floor. Don't, you, uh, don't even get me started. Oh my God, <laughs> you mix the right pill with some good grown woman oh sex, and you God. might be about to throw up your inside. Yo, yeah, laying tile. down on the bathroom floor yeah, is underrated. That yo. tile, oh, woo. Yeah, save your ass. Your brain, yo. I'm keeping it a hundred, bro. Don't say, yo, you missed the pill with the right grown woman sex. Nah. Your stomach get. All, I'm telling you, get all woozy and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. your head. Even a hard night of cognac, man. You need you need to That's stretch no, out no, some drunk work. sex is cool when you're twenties or early thirties. When you start getting older now. Nah, 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 it's dumb. It's, it's a dumb. Ass. Like it's you really need air after some it's sex. It's dumb. Sex Yo, you're a drunk yeah, yeah. you're a drunk sexist, right? Not no more. How long how long we moved out are you? I've been out the game for at yeah, least five years personally. That shit ain't fun no more, bro. I'll be like, I ain't I'm not gonna you come. Gonna end. I'm not gonna come. Yeah, like, yo, get I'm off gonna me. be exhausted. I, I might die. That. Yeah, get off me, man. I'm hot. Like, like, go. And if she's yeah. drunk too, it's like, double like, worse because like, now yeah, she, she, she wants the Olympics to happen. Wine drunk, drunk is one thing, but liquor, I'm cool. I'm coming. Wine drunk might be worse. Nah, nah, wine drunk. That's unheard of. That rock? Nah, a lot of mad niggas be like, yo, I ain't come. I be like, you ain't what? I don't care what she did, actually. Bro, I don't come. I'm coming. I don't care what she did. It could be My brain is gonna get me. Says the guy who's ever had a drink. Like, you. I'm coming, bro. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. Yo, I've been drunk, sleep on niggas' toilet. I'm coming, bro. I don't understand what niggas. That was a good solid I was too drunk. I ain't come. I was too yeah. high. I ain't there come. There are I'm other things it. that can prevent that Absolutely. nut or make it harder Absolutely. for that nut to come out that you haven't experienced. Maybe that's what part. I'm gonna take y'all word for it. Like writer's block, but with a pill. <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna do? Guess what I'm gonna do? Come block, come, come block. I'm gonna write some, some corny shit. Semen block. I'm gonna write some corny I'm shit. Get I'm, getting, I'm getting these bars off. Yo, it might be corny yo, tomorrow. One time I'm you can take these the wrong bars thing. Off. You can come block, yo. Yeah, yeah. You can get yeah, come block. Get me come block is a fucking boy. Come block is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't never thing. No you funny had come shit. Block, yo? Yeah, nigga. The hell I just yeah. said that. Everybody's come had it before at some point. Not I said the duck. I'm getting this motherfucker. Out I think of me. everybody's had cum block and like gummy worm block. Like just 
gummy worm. I've had gummy worm for sure. <laughs> I've had straight. I got a hot take. <laughs> 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 I, got, I do got out there. Oh, here we go. I do. I, I'll give it to y'all. I've, I've never shared this before. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some of my best nuts come off the gummy. Off the gummy. <laughs> <laughs> they feel a little better. No, I they know. They feel a little better. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, yeah, you be crazy. so proud of your dick, yo. You be like, damn. Yo, yo, you yo, still yo. did that. Yo, you <laughs> was just <laughs> squirming in there. Yo, you gave it's a not, straight dead it's, snail for 20 yeah, minutes. For for real. Real. Yo, you it's came called, through, yo. It's yo, called a strong, triple H. Every show nah. moved too far. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You be mad at her, bitch. I'm still. <laughs> See, I, that's why I like being here. Crazy? Because I realized that I'm not the only. Like, y'all uh, make me feel like I'm not the only person. I'm not uh, alone. No. It's called a triple H. It's a half happy hammer. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Seriously, it's a half. It's a half. I don't know if that's a word. I don't know if that's a This nigga got some shit like me. It's a dictionary. I'm telling you. It's a half happy hammer. He got some it's a, a half happy it's called hammer. ED. Guaranteed. Oh. Those sometimes Bruh. the nut is better when you have happy. Yo, I've had girls say that they come Man, better try. off the medium meat. Glorilla cop. No, oh, they say they they come better off the medium meat. There you go. The, right. the um, yeah. nerve endings at right, right. Yeah. So there's a lot of niggas out here that shouldn't be having no problems at all. When you think about it, the Yo, first, you never been in the gym. <laughs> Yo, what? I don't, even well, I don't know where it's going because all <laughs> niggas in the gym. Yeah. I don't like this. Yeah, it's all niggas in the gym. I don't know where he's going. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> All niggas in the gym. Hey yo, dog, you know ain't nothing about me, motherfucker. Off, yo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> never been in the gym. Nigga just be walking around. You like, yo, fam, for real? You walking around with that? Yo. <laughs> hey yo, niggas be. All right, yo. Hey, fam. Nigga be be little as hell. <laughs> what? 